Welcome back to another vlog. It's a work from home day today and I've just got a bit of time whilst I'm on my dinner break to do a bit of filming but I don't have time to actually go and sort myself out <laughs> so you just have to excuse this. Oh there she is. Connie's had a groom. She's a little bit shorter than I think you will have seen her in recent vlogs. Oh put your head on my shoulder i've had a couple of deliveries this morning you're currently being balanced on top of one of them which is my spring wreath from the suffolk nest which i'm so excited about i can't wait to get that made this weekend and get myself in the mood for spring but we'll look at that a little bit later into the vlog i'm going to show you this parcel that's come from um, a brand called Nortino, which is essentially like a beauty product kind of company. I kind of just googled the products that I was after um, from a mum for Mother's Day and this was the website that came up to be like the most reasonably priced. Um, so I've bought my mum some stuff but I've also treated myself to a couple of bits as well. Um, whilst I'm doing this I just want to say thank you so much if you've subscribed recently. Um, I've got a few new people on this channel and also for the general lovely comments that you all keep leaving on my videos. Yeah thank you just for taking time out of your day to to just to comment on my video it really means a lot. These deliveries this morning were bizarre because they were both delivered with DPD and it said delivered to Marcus, don't know who Marcus is, definitely wasn't me, it was just left on my doorstep but anyway. So the first thing I got was two of these, one for me and one for my mum. Um, this is the Revlon Unique One All-in-One Hair Treatment and it's got 10 benefits to it. The smell of this is honestly incredible, um, I've had it before, my mum actually introduced me to this. Um, a while back and I haven't seen her use it for a while so I don't know whether it's just because she hasn't got around to ordering herself one or whether she doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> Hopefully it's not that she doesn't like it anymore. <sighs> yeah, it smells amazing. And it repairs dry and damaged hair so it just leaves your hair feeling really soft once you've blow dried it. It strengthens and reduces breakage, conditions and detangles, it's amazing for detangling. Controls frizz, which it definitely does. Instantly moisturises, heat protection, boosts shine and protects colour, softness and manageability, helps to prevent split ends and, and refreshes hairstyle. So yeah, I picked up two of those. What I'll do is I will try and find the cheapest price online. Um, if it isn't from this particular website, I will like leave the link to it on Amazon if it's on there or whatever. So I have spent a little bit more on my mum than I normally would, but because she's been doing my washing for three months, I'm like, oh, I really want to treat her. So I know she's gonna absolutely love all of these products, but I treated her to this Red Can Shampoo. Now, I don't think she's ever used this before, but I just thought it would be the best for her sort of hair concerns. I know that she's struggling with sensitive skin at the minute. So this is a pH balanced formula. It's the pink Colour Extend Magnetics shampoo and conditioner. I will leave these linked down below as well. I think you can get these on Look Fantastic too. I've got myself a new one to try. So I've got the sort of golden bottles and I've used those um, and they're like a moisture injection one I think. But this is the Aesthetic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. I've heard people absolutely rave about this. If you've tried this combo, let me know what you think of it. What do we think of my nails this time, by the way? We were halfway through doing French tips, so just the pink and white, but when he was halfway through it, I thought, oh, I actually don't want a tip on it. I just want you to leave them pink. So he didn't put a color on or anything. That's just the color of the acrylic, but I, I, really, but I really like that. They kind of look a little bit ombre as well. An old woman shape is what I always ask for. And then I did say to my mum, oh, I think I might treat you some, to some hair stuff for Mother's Day. She was like, oh yeah, I love Alpha Path and that's the Alpha Path Milano brand that she really likes. So I just picked up a few things that I thought she would like in that range. And um, so this is the Style Stories Defining Wax. So she's got a shortcut. Most of the time she just kind of like judges it <laughs> and leaves it. So I thought this would be a really good product for her to try if she hasn't already. That's what it looks like. This stuff my mum's tried and tested and absolutely loves it. This is the Diamond Alpha Path Milano Crystallis Spray. It's an illuminating finish spray. She uses it like a shine spray. I picked up that for her. I'm hoping it's the right one. I think it is. Because I've completely forgot to tell you all the prices. I'll 
like I said, I'll just link everything down below and you can go and have a look for yourself. Um, but this is the texturising dry shampoo. So I picked that up for her mum as well. So yeah, nice little present that for Mother's Day. I think she's going to love it. I am going to give her this early so she can use it and have a little pamper before Mother's Day. I wanted to just pop upstairs and show you what the spare bedroom's looking like. So uh, it's coming together now, really, considering what it looked like a few months ago. It was not decorated in here. Um, it's all been replastered, everything, new radiator, new plug sockets, the lot. New bed in here, bedside tables, that rug is old. That's from um, home centre years ago. I actually had that in the old house. I never found a place for it in this house up until now. It just You should hang on to stuff because it always comes in use. And I think it goes really nicely with the throw. And I'm going to get a different cushion. See that white one there? I want to switch that out for like a big lumber, long one. Um, kind of in this um, colour. Just to tie it all in a little bit better, but yeah, it's a work in progress this room, to be honest. Um, I did pick up these king size pillows last night from Denel, £18 each, but oh my god, they are the comfiest things to sleep on ever. I've got them in my bedroom, amazing, but don't actually fit on this bed, even though it's king size, because the pillowcases are just standard sizes. So I need to take them back today. That is my old Ikea dressing table and then I've just got the mirror that goes with it and a couple of random pictures cropped up that I haven't had a chance to actually put up yet. This is what Tom's mum made us for the wedding. It was a wedding present, this. She's an artist. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. She also did this pencil sketch, which I am absolutely devastated about because it's completely broken look. Um, so we need a new frame for that, but... Yeah, she drew that. I think that would actually look really, really nice in this room. Um, I just need, like I said, to get a new frame for that, but I love it. So yeah, work in progress in here, but it's so much nicer than it used to be. These bedside tables were an absolute bargain. They're just bog standard. I didn't want to be paying a fortune out when it's like literally for the spare room, so I'll link those. And those lamps from Cox and Cox, they just looked way too small to be in the master bedroom. So I'll plonk them in here for now. They kind of go, but again, they are quite small. <laughs> and they are really nice. Look at them. Could just do with them being a little bit bigger. And the bed is from Dusk, but it's really handy because it's got Ottoman storage. So underneath here is where I'm keeping all of my stuff that I'm selling on Vintage. So I've kind of like just folded it up ready for when it sells, I can just lift the bed up and get it out. Um, but yeah, that's the that's what the spare bedroom's looking like so far. A bit plain, definitely needs blind in here or curtains or something. Some pictures on the walls. Hola, finished work. Do you know what I am? <laughs> Desperate for some Botox. Like, and the lady that does it isn't replying to me, so I'm just going to be left with the fad like that till the end of time. <sighs> Put your face straight. I can see the dints when my face is straight. There. Anyway, back there we have the pillows that are going back to Donnell, which is directly behind me. I'm not going to take you in there. I always find Donnell really stressful. And they're always really awkward with returns and just in general, like when I was just today for some help with them pillows, it was like I was literally asking for the earth, like it wasn't a job to help and assist. I, I tried buying scissors from there once and it was just not pleasant. Um, they were asking me for ID and I was like, I think I was about 28 at the time and I was like, really, can I just buy these scissors? But where I will take you is to the best shop in the world, aka Yusk, whatever you want to call it, I call it Jisk. It's just the most underrated shop ever, absolutely love it, and plus there's traffic going all the way towards my mum's house and I'm going there for tea, so yeah, I need to kill a bit of time, and I said I'd be there about half past five-ish, so I better get a wriggle on. I'll show you what's in that shop, and just wish me luck please for this returning Durham.
back in the car there was some really really nice stuff in I was really good didn't buy anything some people will think well, what's the point of you even going shopping if you try not to actually buy anything I'm a window shopper I love seeing what's in the shops and I love the feeling when I don't buy something <laughs> it's like a yeah I've got control and it's just fun seeing what's in <clears throat> so I went straight to the till with those big pillows because I thought I'm, I can't walk around the shop I'll be knocking things off shelves and all sorts so I went straight to the tills and I thought right after I've got my refund I'll go and have a little mooch around the shop I could not get out of there quick enough I was stood in the queue for about 15 minutes no reason like just the people that work there just stood looking around like as if I'm not meant to be there I sound like I'm being really aggy, but honestly, they put me in such a bad mood in that shop. <laughs> I love the shop and I love the stuff that it sells. No offence if you work at Dunelm, because I don't mean you, I just mean this particular Dunelm. Um, by the time I'd actually got served, I was just like, not really in the mood, but I'll always be polite and, oh yeah, I'm just bringing these pillows back. Um, they're open at the side, you can't return them. I said, I know they are, they're all like that. And she looked at me as if to say, no, they're not. And I said, I promise you they are. Because um, I bought them yesterday. I've got them home. Realised that they're not the right size. So I haven't bothered opening them, which you can see from the top. I would have had to open them properly. Um, and I'm bringing them back the next day. And she said, they are open at the side. So they're accessible. I said, they're accessible in the shop. Or they're all like that. So I said, unless you think for some bizarre reason, I would come to Dunelm at six o'clock last night, buy some pillows, sleep on them and then change my mind, stuff them back in the packaging and bring them back the next day. Can I, can I just have my money back, please? I was honestly wasn't being funny with it, but sometimes I just think, use your common sense, please. Anyway, I really need to get to my mum's now, so I'll catch up soon. Hello, everyone. A couple of days on, and um, I'm in my wear day sweatshirt, so you know. It's Saturday, it's wear day. Just been to Slimming World, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't. I was gonna say, you might be able to see the sign there. Half a pound off. Like, what is the point? Like, I'm losing half a pound, then putting half a pound on, then losing half a pound, and I'm just literally getting nowhere, and it's actually so destroying. Um, I mean, I can't sit here and say the plan's not working. It 100% is working. It's me not sticking to it that it's the issue. So I can have like a really, really good day and then a really rubbish day. Who's this? It's just Tom's side of the family's group popping off. I'm just feeling a little bit deflated to be honest, but um, usually I weigh in with my mum, but she's not feeling too good today. And with it being Mother's Day tomorrow, she wants to be right for that. So she's having a bit of a lie in. This is what I mean though. Like I'll put the effort in to come and get weighed every single week early. So why can't I just put the effort into losing the weight and making myself feel better? It's almost like um, self-sabotage, which I think is a real thing. It's like, when your head's a bit mashed, the first thing you do is go to the fridge, or at least I do. Also, I put a bit of makeup on this morning and forgot, <laughs> forgot mascara, so I'm feeling like an absolute mole. Um, have I just moaned for pretty much the first half of this video, I think I have. Let's go do a food shop. Aldi always cheers me up. This is what I dreamed of as a little girl having a house and having my milk delivered to me. <laughs> I've started getting my milk and eggs delivered from the farm. Every have left me a little card as well to say that they've oh parcels been delivered I can see it through the gate <gasps> it's from lounge exciting I'm gonna be doing a full video with a haul of this stuff from lounge that'll be a separate video coming soon but Tom has got the um, big olive tree out of the garage because it's been in there over winter just so it didn't end up dead like everything else I buy um, but Tom actually bought me this last year for our wedding anniversary because Olive played a very big part in our wedding. Olive was mainly the flower that we had at our wedding, so very thoughtful. I mean, he didn't think of the idea, I gave him the idea because I saw him in um, <laughs> B&M, I think. Just need to get it in a nice pot now. into my 
tomorrow since to get my mum some flowers for Mother's Day. Um, we're actually going out for a meal tomorrow afternoon. I would have given them her today and let her choose her own, but obviously she's not well, so that's why she didn't come to Slimming World. Everybody was buying pinks and purples and stuff, and usually that would be what I would buy, or I'd buy all whites. But I have a really bad habit of that when I'm buying flowers for other people. I think about what I like rather than what they would like. So with this, I feel like I've nailed it because she loves yellows and greens and oranges. And I just think they're going to go perfect in our house. So Morrison's have a little floristry section and the quality of the flowers in there is unreal. And um, that's why I just keep going there for flowers recently. Um, you know, for special like birthday flowers and stuff because they last forever and I'm sure they price them up wrong as well. Like, this bouquet cost me 45. Normally that would be like my mum done, but obviously I splashed out a little bit on her stuff just because she's just been good, so good to me lately, doing all my washing and everything. And she makes my tea when Tom's not here and she's just the best, so I just wanted to treat her. Those massive roses on their own in Morrison should be, should be four pounds. And there's one, two, three, if you count the big yellow ones, three, four, four of those big roses, that's 16 pounds. And you've got all the foliage and then the tea roses here. You get like four on a stem. I love those like off-white ones, by the way. Yeah, these little tea roses, the orange ones and those little white ones here, they also cost four pound a bunch and I've got three bunches of those in there as well. So I think I've definitely been undercharged to be honest, but loads of eucalyptus in there as well. The woman in there looks a little bit stressed. I can't tell whether they look really, really good or like they've just been absolutely thrown together. But I can't blame the lady because she was literally stressed her eyeballs. And I was just stood there with all these stems in me. I was like, please, can you wrap these for me? She looked at me like she wanted to murder me. Uh, but I'll forgive her because they were all in very high demand. There's some yellow lilies, I think, as well in there. Like two big, massive stem falls. And they smell incredible. And I know that these are going to last about two weeks. But here's my little farm buys. Let's see. Oh, it says for you to return the boxes as well. Ooh, they look good. I got a dozen eggs and I got two litres of semi. I'm not really drinking skimmed milk at the minute. I probably should and I might have better losses. Just going to measure out the semi skimmed. You can have it, you can just have less. And it's not like I drink loads and loads of brews every day. So um, I just thought if I get skimmed, it'll get wasted. I'll do a little food shop haul in a minute, but first of all, I want a coffee. So one minute, darling. You can go out one sec. There Connie goes, barking her head off outside. She just can't help herself. We need a fence panel at the side of the house because that's what sets her off when she can see people walking past. I wish I'd have um, done a bit better with training and barking with Connie, honestly. But I do feel like it is in the nature as well, not to make excuses. Um, I don't know what she knows that doesn't bark. They're a barky breed, aren't they, the terriers? Fresh from the udders. Tom's passed his motorbike test, by the way. That's where he is this morning. He's gone to Preston to a shop to go and have a look at a motorbike. Um, I actually went to a show, showroom with him last week. And I don't know if any of you know anything about motorbikes. I definitely don't. But when we were walking around the showroom, I really liked these bikes called Bobbers. And they just reminded me of um, Grease 2, you know, when they're all on the motorbikes and it's when they're doing, who's that guy? You might not know what I mean, but um, I think he's just gonna go for a normal motorbike and not one of them. You're gonna make me get an ASBO. Come here. Oh, you're a good girl, really. Should I be giving a praise when she's just been barking? Probably not. But I've missed you this morning and you look so cute since you've been groomed. Yes, you do, with your long beard and your long eyebrows and your waggly tail. Let's get this shopping unloaded. I'll show you everything I've got and like meal ideas, etc, etc. Right, it doesn't look like I got very much here, but it only came to £48 because it was more of a top up shop of fresh stuff rather than needing like absolutely everything. So there's no pasta, rice or anything here. Meat first, I didn't get chicken this week. You'll normally see me buying loads of chicken, usually the one kilo packs, but I've got about 10,000 chicken breasts that need eaten in the freezer, uh, plus thighs as well. So I really didn't need <laughs> 
chicken this week, but I got two summer fillets. The parma ham and the prawns are for a raclette night that we're doing tonight. So we got bought a raclette from Tom's mum and we basically put it in the middle of the island and um, you get little trays for underneath. But it's it's kind of healthy really, as long as you don't go mad on wine with it, which is obviously what you want to do if you're having steak and stuff. But the parma ham is to wrap around asparagus and these prawns. I'm gonna make my chili and chive sauce to go over these because I just think that'd be really good with prawns and steak. It is usually what I make to go with chicken. I'll put the vlog that I make it in in the description box for you. So if you want to see how I make that chili and chive sauce, which is something I learned from doing HelloFresh, then have a look at that vlog. Um, then I got some of these chicken sausages. These are one and a half cents each, but I thought I would give them a whirl because the skinny normal pork sausages from Aldi are pretty grim to be honest I really don't like them so obviously you saw I got my eggs and my milk from the farm and then I did not know that bagel thins were six sins each I've been eating these thinking the three sins can you just give me five minutes on just five minutes that's all I want I mean I do want to make scrambled eggs with a bit of hot sauce and um chives on a bagel thin but I might just do half a bagel thin then so it makes it three sins Oat milk I picked up for my mum. I'm going to take this round with the flowers later on because if she can't get out to do a food truck because she's not feeling too well, she'll still want bruise. So I have 250 ml of this oat milk for your healthy extra air. I've just written it on there so I don't forget. Um, I got Coke Zero. I just plough through that when I'm not drinking alcohol. That should be over with the meat. I'm messing up my system. <laughs> the bacon is to go in a chicken casserole that I'm probably going to make tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, then Monday. I always get these loose potatoes from Aldi because they just make for really good jacket potatoes and um, sweet potato I've been putting with um, chilli actually, that's another HelloFresh recipe. I actually made it yesterday and it was amazing. Oh. This Mediterranean veg is just really simple and easy, um, I just throw it in the oven on a baking tray and I'll either put a salmon fillet in the middle if I'm not doing it in the air fryer or I'll have this with chicken and sweet potato just makes life really easy because it's all already chopped up and in my opinion worth the two and a half cents for the full pack because you'd only have half a pack anyway to yourself these baby potatoes are for the raclette tonight so with the raclette you get these um sort of trays that you pull out like i said i'll show you later on but you sort of melt cheese over the potatoes and it's just is it a swedish thing raclette i'll check but yeah they, these potatoes look quite well and whatever's left over, I'll just use during the week. Then I've got some of these grapes and bananas. Got a watermelon. Tommy can chop that up for me later on. Asparagus. Yeah, this is for tonight with the raclette. So I've got some of these sweet peppers. These are really nice on the raclette as well. But you just char them on there and they turn out really, really nice. And then i got another pack of peppers. I use a green one for my chilli. And then these I probably do for heaters one night with. The tomatoes, they just go on haul on the raclette as well and they turn out really, really nice. So you can see there's loads of free food that you can put on the raclette and it actually ends up being quite healthy. I've got the prawns, Tom's gone to the butchers to get the steak for it. I've already got the cheese in that you need, it's um, the Gruya cheese. It's this one, really, really good and you can have a bit of that as your healthy extra air. I just happened to watch one of Gemma Louise Miles' vlogs a few days ago and she made orange fanta with lime juice squeezed in and a slice of lime and loads of ice and now i'm just influenced to do the same so it doesn't take much to influence me seriously then i got two of these yogurts because i didn't know that these were one and a half cents each but they are effort to get through um so i'm thinking again if i am feeling snacky i am not going to chocolate i'm gonna actually ask myself am i hungry and if I'm hungry enough, I'm going to have one of these. I've got the passion fruit one and the raspberry one. And I also picked up one of these, which are two and a half cents. I really like these. Then I got some lighter creme fraiche. It's one tablespoon for a sin. And so with it. If you're making pasta dishes and you just want it to be a little bit more creamy and you've already used your healthy extra A's, so you can't really like just stir in some soft cheese or whatever. Light creme fraiche is a good option. I am really doing this in a mixed up order. Then I got some salad -y stuff. So I got um, some lettuce, I got a cucumber, and I got this as well. This I'm just going to use to bulk out my meals and make sure that I'm getting in some speed onto my plate just to reduce portion size really and make the overall colours a little bit less. And then I got some leeks because I'm going to use these for 
the chicken casserole that I've mentioned. Um, it's a board of lunch recipe. If you don't follow a board of lunch on Instagram, then you're missing out because he does the best recipes. They're usually quite healthy and slim and well friendly as well, to be honest. I did pop into Morrison's Plus while I was in there and Morrison's always had the best selection of herbs. So I got some chives from there. They never let me down for herbs. I'm going to use these in that chili and chive sauce tonight to go with the steak. Oh. And I'm also going to use them for my eggs now. I know I'm having my niece Alice over the next couple of weeks and she's partial to a bit of pesto pasta. So I've got to get a jar of that in ready for her. And I also picked up some bacon as well. I think that's everything. tonight watch some saturday night tv um this is what it looks like you get your hot stone on top and then you can cook on this plate too and then you put your potatoes with your cheese melted on top on those little trays which are heated up there's like a heating element underneath i'll link this it's a really good thing to have if you've got friends coming over or whatever we got some steak from the butchers earlier on and um, so i'm just going to set everything out ready it's all coming together now so i've just started prepping everything um, the cheese, we've got the peppers, asparagus wrapped in parma ham, and then I've just got some plain asparagus for me. Um, we've got the tomatoes, I've just boiled these potatoes and put some salt and pepper on them, but they'll go underneath the tray with the cheese melted on top and everything. The salad, I'll put a bit of balsamic on that in a minute. The prawns are already cooked and they'll just be um, cooked on top and then my sauce will go over the top. So I'm just about to make my chilli and chive sauce now, which will go into here. I'll put oil and vinegar in here because Tom's bringing home some bread and then that will be everything, I think. Where's the fillet from the butchers? <laughs> spring wreath kit delivered at the weekend I took all the flowers out and um, put them in fresh water but I'm only just getting around to actually putting the wreath together I wanted to wait for a nice spring day to get me in the mood for spring but it's kind of just not happened Um I was really busy over the weekend so I kind of wish I would have delayed it by a week I'm just hoping we don't get any frost before spring that ruins it because this spring wreath kit did cost me £65 like 70 with delivery but yeah I thought I'd just quickly show you what I've got in the kit and then um, I will just kind of show you little snippets of me making it I wouldn't be able to film the whole thing because we would literally be here for about three hours it does take time and I like to make a bit of a night of it to be honest so I've just put some parcel paper out on my island because I'm going to be working on this just in case there's any like compost and stuff coming off the bulbs so it doesn't wreck the worktops and end up on the floor. Um, I've got my snippers, my bag of moss. Um, it comes with everything you need so and they, I ordered this by the way if I haven't mentioned already from the Suffolk Nest. Um, I just I'm obsessed with that website and that Instagram page. I watch the lives on a Friday night sometimes you know of her doing a floristry arrangements and stuff. That's one thing I would love to get into is floristry. Even just to know myself how to arrange flowers. It just seems like the most therapeutic hobby ever. And I love flowers. So yeah, you get your wire base. You also get um, some string to tie it up with. And you get your wire. And then onto the flowers. Loads and loads of olive leaf. Um, so this is your foliage and this is what makes makes it look nice and big and wild really um this other foliage it's sort of lost a bit of its moisture this one now it's going a little bit crispy um she does advise to make your wreath within about three days of receiving it and um 
obviously I've left it more like four or five days, which isn't good. And you get your spring bulbs. This is mascara. Doesn't really smell of anything yet, but this looks amazing when it flowers. It's already shooting that. Um, it looked a lot different actually three days ago when I received it. Um, it's grown quite a lot. This stuff, I don't even know what this is, but it is so pretty. It looks kind of like blossomy and the base of the bud is like a purple colour. So, so pretty. These came in the wreath kit that I've had in the past. Um, but you get these little speckled eggs and feathers. Very Easter themed. And then you get your tulips. They aren't like ordinary tulips, they're called something different. Um, I think parrot tulips or something, I don't know. Um, but they're gorgeous anyway. And then you get your paper whites, um, which smell incredible. Those little flowers there. Mm. They've got a really distinctive smell to those and oh, they're amazing. But I'm gonna get cracking now and um, start making up the base of the wreath at least tonight, see how far I get. If I don't finish the whole thing, I will, at the end of this little montage, put a picture of what the end result looks like when it's hanging on my front door. But yeah, I'm going to leave you with this little montage because I feel like this vlog is getting very, very long. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog, everybody, and for spending a few days with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby